growing up in this state, it's, uh, it was a, uh, knowing Chucky Mullins and the story and, and Spencer, everything you said tonight was right on point with uh, what we're trying to do here and the message we're trying to, to send and Carver and Karen, um, I've met you before and the, the job you did with Chucky, uh, I hope that uh, my three daughters can uh, have the same core values and and reflect them as a representation of our family as well as Chucky did for you guys. And and I uh, have great respect for the fact that uh, Brad Gaines never misses one of these and uh, has been very instrumental in those. And, and um, I'm reminded by Matt Luke today, who was a young boy sitting in the stands the last time that Chucky came to a game here and he, he could not speak um, uh, very well. But they uh, asked Chucky, do you have any words for our team and Chucky said it's time and I'm um, reminded tonight by Spencer's comments that time is really the only thing we have that is equal and what we do at that time is of the most importance and our team hears that uh, daily Chucky was uh, the greatest example of that and getting the most out of who he was and who he wanted to represent uh, and, and representing this football program here at the University of Mississippi was, uh, was so important to him and as it has been for all of those that have followed in wearing the number 38 jersey. And I, when I first got here and we started dealing with our kids, there were several that stood out and we went back and forth on who would be this uh, year's Chucky Mullins award winner and represent the same values that he does and, and go forth in our and, and representing that on our football team and, and what we're going to try to accomplish. And as our coaching staff got together last week, uh, it, it had become evident to us that this was a guy right out of the mold of Chucky Mullins and would do an excellent job in representing his core values and the values we want to represent and would always give a 100%. And it's with a great pleasure and uh, that I tonight get to recognize this year's Chucky Mullins Award winner who will wear the number 38 jersey next year for us, Mr. Jason Jones. off I just want to say um, give glory and honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and uh, for giving me just the opportunity to to represent Chucky Mullins as this is a very prestigious award and I, um, I just thank the guys who who have went before me and paved the way for me to have this opportunity on tonight and um, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say opportunity but um, many people don't get it so it's uh, something that's very important to me um, and I also just want to, um, I want y'all to get a round of applause for Mr. Spencer Tillman again, because he, he set it up very nice for us tonight. Um, next, I want to thank my family sitting over here to my right. They um, changed schedules many times to try and j just make it just because I, just because I was a nominee. And um, I just want to thank you, mom, my uncle, my aunt, my sister, and my niece over there. She's giving y'all a hard time. So. <laughs> But um, Mr. Tillman talked about courage, right? Courage. And um, this is the Chuck and Mullins Courage Award. It takes a lot of courage. Um, and for none of you who don't know my history, I've been, uh, I've been named someone who's been injury prone, I guess. And um, my years in high school, I, I had two ACL surgeries on my left knee and still ended up with a scholarship. So I was just like, you know, well, I know that God has a purpose and a plan for my life somewhere. And for it to be here, to come here to red shirt and to, um, to be injured when, when I'm healthy is, is, is mind blowing. The first game of the season, my red shirt uh, freshman year. And um, instead of being encouraged, I had more discouragement than anything. 
Um, just like the, the cup deal right here, it took him 11 seconds to build it, but it didn't take long to destroy it. And that's just like an injury. Um, when you're injured, it takes less than a second for an injury to occur, but months to, to rehab and get it back, maybe even years sometimes. And um, just by way of faith and, and continuously believing, even in my discouragement, encouraging the people who has the same injury as me at the time, is just knowing that yours will be fine soon. So go ahead and encourage her or encourage him. <laughs> Last spring, I um, took on the idea of, you know, I had to walk through, through the field almost every day. And I would touch the never quit sign three times and point to the sky. And DT noticed it after months of me doing it. I never noticed that he paid attention to it, but he, uh, he said, man, I see that you, you know, you, you tap the thing three times, man, you know, and I was just like, well, that's, that's just a, something that I do to show that you're really supposed to never, ever, ever quit. As a little boy growing up, that's what one of my uh, coaches taught me, not to ever quit, never quit. No matter if you're being blown out or, or what, to have three knee surgeries, major knee surgeries on both knees and, and to just continue your career, it's unheard of, some through, I mean, by some ears, maybe. Um, I always think about the people who stop after one. And no matter what the situation is, I try to come to practice every day with a positive attitude, no matter what the situation may be, no matter what my day's been, no matter what my, light, my night might look like, no matter what my schedule may, may have looked like on that day. And to represent Chucky on next, um, next season with the number 38, I think is um, a privilege and an honor. I'd like to give also a thanks to my, my former coaching staff as well as my present. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the guys that I spend most of my time with, my family, my teammates. I love you all, and I'm going to do the best I can to represent Chucky Mullins each and every day, whether it's at practice, in the weight room, on the field, in the film room, whatever it may be. Thank you, and God bless.